This video is about the ICM 870-16A soft start for your air conditioner. I'm gonna test it out. Uh, I've seen videos, but I've never seen anyone test it with a generator to see if the generator will start the air conditioner, but I find out. Um, right now, it pulls about 90 amps on startup. And a generators, most generators are only good for 30 amps. So let's go ahead and hook up this soft start and then we'll go ahead and test it. There's the soft start. You're gonna need an electric meter. There's the, all the connectors that it comes with. Uh, you want some good crimpers, uh, some wire strippers and some miscellaneous tools like a screwdriver and pliers. Um, there's the schematics for my, I have a Goodman three ton unit. You wanna just go over the schematics and then go over the instructions because there's, if you have a train, it's a little bit different than, a, um, or American Standard, it's different than uh, uh, some of the other units. What is your running amps? Uh, running load amps, RLA. You have to check that with your meter and I've already done that and we're looking at about 11 and a half amps. This one is good for 16 amps. make a 32 amp if you have a larger unit or a 9 amp if you have a small unit. I want to show you the installation of the ICM 870-16A soft start for an air conditioner. Um, I have an Amana which I think is the same as a Goodman and probably several others but it's about 20 years old three ton unit and this one works great for it. Um, so I, I, I got to get something a little bit better, but for now I have a battery box to keep the, to keep the uh, rain uh, to keep it dry because there wasn't enough room to mount it in here. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how I uh, installed it. First of all, uh, safety first, make sure you're totally powered down. And uh, also while I was in here, I went ahead and uh, installed a new capacitor. Mine was five years old and uh, tested um, three microfarads um, shy. So anyways, the first step is to, the red wire coming from the ICM, you, you crimp on a um, female spade terminal. That goes to the common on the, um, that goes to the common on the capacitor. The second step is to disconnect the factory installed compressor one run wire from the contact or terminal two, which try to get in here. Uh, here's the contactor. This is terminal one. That's terminal two on the left. So I disconnected the run terminal that goes to the compressor. And then we take the that's this red, that's this red wire right here. And I crimped on a female spade connector and, uh, and then put a male connector on the brown wire that goes to the ICM. Uh, you can butt splice these together, um, but I did, this is one way that um, they recommend it on the ICM website. That way if the ICM some, somehow fails, you can easily hook this up to the spade terminal um, onto the contactor. The other option is to cut it and use the lugs. So once we got that connected, we go to step three. You take the blue wire from the ICM, put a female spade connector on. It goes to the, on my capacitor, I have white, and that's for Herm, for the compressor. So I put it right there. The fourth step, and final step is to take the black wire coming from the ICM. Oh, the black wire. And that goes to terminal L1 or load one on the contactor. So, uh, 
I'm gonna put pictures on there of the directions. And uh, also you can consult the schematics. And they got some schematics here on the instructions. But it's very easy to install. Uh, I, wish, I wish I had a watertight space in here to install it there, but instead I'm gonna have to do it on the wall here and um, use the battery box. I'm gonna see if, about getting a, um, a better box, a waterproof box permanently to mount it. All right, I'll go ahead and demonstrate um, how it works uh, with using my 6,300 watt gas generator to, uh, to, to run the air conditioner. Okay, so we've got it all set up. I got my meter set on uh, maximum uh, recording on the um, startup amps. We're gonna flip the switch to the compressor and hopefully everything works. I do have, it did draw 42 amps on startup. And we got to run um, light, no faults. shut it off and wait a few minutes and we'll do another startup. Okay, gonna try uh, one more startup. Let's get the both devices. Uh, I got the amp clamp set on uh, amps and the, it's gonna record the maximum amps. test uh, the starting amps. We got it on amps and we have to put it on maximum to record.
39.8 amps so it was pulling 42 but i put a new uh starting capacitor in it was testing uh, only 42 microfarads and it should be 45 uh, and it was five years old so i think that helped without the soft start kit uh, it was pulling 92 amps on startup got 10.5 uh, running load amps it sometimes goes up to 12 and a half but I just clean the unit the outside unit I got to clean the inside uh, air handler but um, it was very very dirty so I was wondering if that would uh, help I'm sure it's going to help on the efficiency there you have it, the uh, ICM 870-16. Uh, I'm gonna get them on my eBay store and I'll send a link uh, to get to my eBay store. Um, right now I have, the only one I have right now is the 32 amp one that will do a larger unit, but you can use the larger one on the smaller ones. Um, not only does it make the compressor last longer, but prevents, uh, if your lights blink, when your air conditioner comes on, it will keep that from happening and make a little less noise on startup. But, uh, it's working good. All right there's the unit. Nice thing about it also, if you have an under voltage or over voltage situation, it'll shut the compressor down or over amperage. Uh, it's got the. Uh, It'll tell you uh, what the fault codes there by the lights, which way they're blinking. Please subscribe and like. This video, as all of my videos, are for entertainment purposes only. If you decide to buy this particular item and have it installed, I absolutely recommend that you have a licensed professional tell you what size you need and have them install it. I am in no way responsible for anything that I have ever liked to use, recommended to use, installed, or reviewed. And remember, safety first. Wear all appropriate PPE when working or installing this equipment and always power down the equipment. Verify with a working meter that the power is out and work safely. I hope you enjoy this video.